Once again, thank you for um, fixing it for Arthur. It's a bit impatient you was. You didn't even wait to get a reply. You went and rung up his lordship straight away. And look where you finished up in that car with Prince Michael of Kent. Who was in the car, Lord Montague? Uh, his Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent and uh, an American television woman and my son, Rafe, who yeah. was in the back seat, and of course, Rolanda. And himself. And I see he was dressed for the occasion. Very nicely dressed. Excellent. Well, first of all, Lord Montague, is your place open all year round? It is indeed, every day of the year. Is it really? Yes. Now that's including Christmas Day? No. Ah, <laughs> every day of the year, by one. I might ask you to present him with a Jim and fix it, but oh, I'm right. a real live lord. Yes. Is that terrific? Yes. Shake his little shit by the way. And we have uh, a nice souvenir picture here of the London to Brighton run with uh, Rolando and Prince Michael of Kent. Prince Michael was coming today, but he's, he's a brought so he can't get here today, but he said he'd like to come to the programme some future date. So therefore, he sent that picture along. That's for you as well. And how about... What a lucky guy, ladies and gentlemen. All them marvellous things. Isn't that terrific? You've done very well, haven't you? Marvellous. Now then, it says here, from East Durham in Norfolk, Dear Jim, I am eight and a half years old and I have a mouth organ. You might have heard a uh, beautiful mouth organ playing behind the London Brighton film, ladies and gentlemen, and that was a tune called Genevieve, you see, uh, played by somebody very famous. I'm going to tell you about him right this second. So I have a mouth organ. I would like to play my mouth organ with Larry Adler. Can you fix it for me, please? Yours sincerely, Trevor G. Hawes. Well, that Larry Adler, I mean, he's worldwide, he's all over the world. We did phone him and we did happen to catch him here in Britain. And so here he is now looking at his, uh, as we say, his protege, Trevor. <laughs> Now you, you've got the same kind of mouth organ that I have, you, in fact it's a Larry Adler mouth organ, and if you think flattery is going to get you somewhere, you're right, it'll get you very far with me. But what, um, can you play the chromatic, can you use the button? Yes. What would you like to play using the chromatic? Havanagilla. Okay, let's hear Havanagilla. Yes, I will, I, I will tell you one thing, Trevor. You play a hell of a lot better than I played at your age. <laughs> I couldn't play at your age. I didn't start till I was 14. But all right, I'll finish it off.
you, thank you, Mr. Lorry, sir. Thank you, Mr. Lorry, sir. How does he do? He did very well, because, you know, having a gila is tricky. Yeah. It's not easy to play, and using that chromatic button makes it tough. By the way, when I played it, did you notice that I did something you did not do, and which is something I'd like you to learn how to do? Can you guess what it is? No. Vibrato. Now, try that. Good. Now, when you get home, practice it because a vibrato is very, very important in phrasing and in learning to play generally. <gasps> a lesson from the master. Master. And free. Ma <laughs> <laughs> Frighten me to death. I'm glad he said that on the, on the box. Now, we don't have to pay. Uh, might I ask you to give him his uh, yes, give him about the maestro? Thank you, sir. Thank you indeed. And then, it could be, we might have a bit more of like that. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, why don't I get one of those? Well, because you didn't ask me to fix anything for you, but I certainly will if you would like me to fix something in the future. Can you arrange for me to play tennis with Virginia Wade? Uh, I will speak to her next week. Okay. Okay, right. Now, now, listen, what about... Let's do a duet, and uh, Trevor told me about a number that he'd play, and I'd play with him, and you tell him what it is. When the Saints go marching in. When the Saints go marching in, you know, the Louis Armstrong thing, it's quick. Oh, you start it off. Trevor, one more little tip. Did you notice when I finished that sink, I went like this. It's a growl, and everybody thinks that's terribly difficult to do on the mouth organ. In fact, it's very easy. It's as if you're rolling an R like a scotch, like that. Try it. Say it. Now try it on the mouth organ. That's it. Well, hey, that's good. That's all the rest of that. Very good. Larry, a thousand thanks indeed for those uh, excellent lessons. Trevor, very, very nice to have played a duet with you. Terrific, terrific. <laughs> I've got to go over here just now and see this here young lady, see if she's made up her mind.